welcome everybody to the sixth, fifth consecutive Little League opening day here at Penn Field. There is no tradition in Little League that's more anticipated than opening day. So thanks to all of our friends and our partners in making this day a reality, Penfield Little League truly has become the home of champions. For 65 years, 65 years we've been celebrating baseball, our players, sportsmanship, and our community. I said last year, and I'll say it again, that Williamsport has told us that we are one of the biggest and one of the most long-standing consecutively run Little Leagues, not in the United States, but in the world. I'd like to introduce uh, a few of our guests here today. 
First behind home plate is Nick Marston and the Penfield High School varsity team. These are guys who, many of them, play right here on these fields. So kids, look at these guys, talk to them, because they used to be at these fields and a couple of years ago, maybe more than a couple, they were sitting where you are. We also cannot function as a league without a great relationship with our local officials and staff. Whether it's the Penfield Recreation Department, Parks, Highway Departments, they are all second to none and a super teammate. And I'd like to introduce our town supervisor, Tony LaFound. Thank you, Greg, and good morning. What a great day in Penfield every opening day. So uh, really looking forward to another great season. We're very fortunate, and I'm very fortunate, to have partners in government. And uh, a number of them are with me. A number of them are with me this morning. From our town board, Linda Cole, Rob Quinn, and Andy Moore, who is uh, one of the coaches. Uh, Andy, thank you. Also, our county legislator, Debbie Dra, and from, and from our state assembly, the great Mark Johns. I would be remiss if I didn't recognize all of our town employees. And uh, today we have Chris Bilo representing them from our recreation department. But it's all of our team that worked so hard with Greg and the board of directors uh, to get all this fields and facilities ready. So it's our honor to be great partners with Penfield Little League. Good luck to everyone. Have a safe season. Look forward to some great baseball. Thank you, Tony. I'm going to ask Tony to stay up here with me because it's starting to become a tradition in Penfield that every opening day there is time to introduce, to celebrate, and honor a team that came from here, our fields, and they became the New York State champions. Last year, this team came a mere game away from the 50-70 Little League World Series. So when we say that we are the home of champions, we can back it up. I'd like to introduce the manager of that team, Coach Steve Pace. First, I'd like to introduce uh, Tom Birch, one of my assistants, and Tony Audi, Jack Juris, Grant Burnett, Aiden McEwen, Nathan Sapko. Tyler Bush, Nathan Audi, Dylan Emler, Peyton Pace, Matthew Gable, Everybody was asking and they wanted to know. 
So congratulations for representing not only Little League, but the entire town of Penfield. So guys, it is my honor and privilege to present to Coach Pace and his coaches staff and players their championship banner for New York State from 2016 season. Thank you, championship team. I want to thank Steve Pace and his coaches and the parents for teaching the players not only about baseball, but about sportsmanship. You know, coaches play a vital role in teaching fundamentals and the responsibility. And we've got one of the best coaches who is also our camp director, Billy Bo. Bill, step on out. Many of you know Bill. A lot of these players on both Coach Pace's team and the varsity team have uh, gone through summer camp under Coach Bo. And he'll be around to answer any questions for summer camp. Also, younger players, this team here, your state champions, they're going to be around. If you see them, talk to them, ask them questions, learn from them, go watch them play. All right? Best thing to do and to learn is to watch these guys play. Okay, so we're getting very close to the first pitch, and I want to ask and welcome Jason Harris from the Browncroft Community Church to give our invocation. Thank you. Would you pray with me? Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day where we can begin a new season of Penfield Little League. We thank you for the way that you have provided for this league and ask your continued provision. We thank you for the kids and the students of the game, many here today. And we ask that you would protect them and give them safety from injury as they learn and compete. Help all of them do their best and play with good sportsmanship. We thank you for the many coaches that have committed many hours of service to working with our young men and women, mentoring them, teaching them, and raising up their character. We pray that you would give them wisdom, patience, and gratification throughout the season. And we pray for the many parents and caregivers who will be spending many hours over the next couple months on these fields. Provide us with words of encouragement, understanding, and comfort throughout the season as we teach and watch our children. Lord, we ask that you would oversee this season. May you be praised in all we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate it. Okay, getting much closer, we're going to have our ceremonial first pitch, and then we will uh, do our national anthem. So, talk about generations. I'm going to ask our two young guys in our major league program, Aiden and Zach, come on out, go next to home plate, the batter's box, and I'm going to ask two of our graduates of our program who now play for the Penfield varsity team, Noah Wolfurst and Ryan Kelpis to come on out and throw our first pitches. All right, ready guys? On three, we throw a first pitch of the 2017 season. One, two, three. All right, great job guys. The young and the old. And now, as we finish our uh, opening day ceremonies, I would like to introduce Maddie King, who is a fifth grader at Plank Road South, who will sing our national anthem. And then when we are done after the national anthem, it'll be play ball. So everybody, please stand, take your hats off, and look your direction of the flag over by the players. Right. 
job. Did Maddie do a great job or what? Big hand for Maddie. All right, players, are you ready to play ball? All right, let's play some baseball today. <laughs> 